So welcome everyone here. So I'm going to try to share some tips. And um, so starting to um, set up your the Encore machine, we tend to do all of this setup before we bring the patient into the room. It just makes it a little friendlier for the patient, and we keep everything covered up. Make sure you don't have any problems. When you go to mark the skin, if you're going to do a biopsy, an ultrasound-guided biopsy, I tend to mark it in the position that you're going to have the patient rolled. We tend to roll them steeper for the biopsies so that ergonomically the docs are standing more comfortable. Our T-tubes, we go ahead and set that in. And in Denver, mile high, we tend to have some issues with vacuum. but. Showing these all these tips, you guys shouldn't have any problems here with in California. But one thing that's really important, make sure this lid is sealed very securely on the canister and all of your caps are capped securely. And I'm gonna hook this up here. We tend to change those out in between patients, the canister, not so much the T-tube. If you're having any trouble at all on your last case, make sure that you change it out. It's just a lot cheaper to change that out than the probe during the procedure. Here's your packaging for your Encore. And in those, you get a little extra tray and the little adapters. I tend to drop these right on my sterile tray, so then I'll have those during the biopsy. And we're going to hook up a 10 gauge Encore here. I'm going to show the setup here for ultrasound. We'll spend some time in the workshops on the stereo because I brought the fire forward mechanism. So we'll spend some time on that. When you go to initialize, um, always on the handheld for ultrasound and the foot pedal for stereo. You want to make sure that when you introduce the probe that it's, it's you know, seated correctly there. And then we're going to just initialize the sample. It will calibrate itself. As long as you're not having any vacuum problems, this should go right on through and take a sample with the calibration. We have a little holder over there. And then I do drape this. Set that in very good. I do drape that with a sterile um, towel. That way the patient isn't looking at that through the procedure. And then ours, for the ultrasound, it tends to default to 12 o'clock. One thing as a tech, and Dr. Parker has told us this when we kind of switch from doing a lot of mammatomes to the Encore, we need to get to know this menu. That's kind of our job because we're not taking tissue off one sample at a time now. We're kind of just sort of standing there looking for busy work. So you need to know this, so that way if the docs want, can want to go from 12 o'clock to 10 to 2, or they want to go from normal tissue to dense, then you know you need to go quickly to menu 3, and then you can switch it back. A lot of this, especially if you guys are doing a lot of stereo, this will be really important that you learn the menu to go the 10 to 2 or 8 to 12, like Dr. Parker explained earlier. I think we're set, Dr. Parker. OK. So now, the only thing uh, that can be wrong when we're not getting tissue is vacuum. So you should be very quick to check your vacuum lines, check the connections, and if necessary, change out the vacuum canister. That vacuum canister, the seal can break. Uh, and if, if, if this seal is, is popped for whatever reason, even if it seems like it's snapped, that seal's not working, you're not going to get any tissue. The same with the connections to the top of the canister and to the unit itself. So the only troubleshooting, really, that we have, the only issue we have now with this instrument is vacuum. So it, it definitely takes your troubleshooting from multiple variables down to one. Um, and we don't really have th that trouble very often anymore either, but uh, that's the one you look for.